Hey there, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. Today we're gonna to talk about what makes a good serve. Uh, there's several things that might go into making having a good service game, and but I wanna get rid of some of the myths about serves that people may not realize they, they're believing. And one of them is, you know, how tricky does your serve look? Uh, is there a lot of motion, a lot of deception in it? That may add to the serve, but it doesn't necessarily make it a good serve. You could try to imitate serves of professional players, and just because it works for them doesn't mean that your serve is going to have the same um, quality that theirs does, and it may not even work for your game. So let's get rid of a few other myths. The next myth about serves is a good serve is one that has maximum spin. That again, partially true, could be true, but not always true. Um, we're gonna get to it in a minute about what actually is a good serve. I usually give two definitions and, uh, for a good serve, and one of them is that the serve has energy on it. And so if you are tentative about your serves, if you are not really uh, confident in them and you just put them out there, uh, then they're probably not going to be very effective. Excuse me. Anyway, so uh, those, are, those are some things that people normally think about serves. Uh, what's it look like from you know your opponent's perspective? Are they are they fooled? Are they intimidated by the movements? Um, and again, those are not the big things. The surprising answer to what makes a good serve is: Does the serve work for you? Does it set up your game? And if you've been playing for a while, you may discover that some of the serves that you are not that impressed with, or maybe nobody else is that impressed with, actually may work best for you. I feel like this probably works at just about every level of the sport, uh, whether it's uh, you're a beginner, uh, intermediate player, or even a professional, that there are times when fairly generic looking serves actually set up your game much, much better than you think they would. So while you may be striving to get maximum spin, and that's something that you certainly want to practice, that's not necessarily what you should, you know, you shouldn't necessarily be killing yourself to try to get that one more revolution of spin. Rather, uh, find out the serves, really, you know, process of elimination, which ones tend to work and why. And it, this could change for different players, uh, your different opponents. But it is surprising. Sometimes just sticking to the basics, keep it short, keep it low. Uh, even a no spin serve is surprisingly effective. Um, if you mix in spin with no spin, all of a sudden it, uh, both serves end up being better. And again, don't necessarily have to be spectacular. They should be well-placed. And by well-placed, I mean placed in a, in a spot on your opponent's side of the table that sets up your next shot. Ne not necessarily a third ball attack, but gets you into the point. And it could be a third ball attack, but uh, it, it's worth thinking about when you're thinking about uh, serves. Is it a good serve because it looks good, or is it a good serve because it works? All right, leave you with that. See you next time. Thanks.